Second question, where is the best place to start in a teacher's UDL journey? I think that one of the really best places to start as a teacher is to take the time to get feedback from your learners about what are the barriers they are facing. I think that too often we were taught that we were in charge of kind of creating those learning experiences when in fact they can be co-designed with our learners. And I think there's something really important about looking at like student engagement surveys, for example, and asking students and saying, like, I wanna be vulnerable here. I want to be the best teacher I can be for all of you. And I want you to be really honest about, are you challenged? Are you supported? You know, do you see yourself in the work that I assign? And, and when you ask students those questions, what I know about asking anybody those questions is that you will often be a little blindsided by the answers because so much of the work that we do, we kind of focus on our intentions. And Beverly Daniels Tatum always says, this work is not about intentions, this work is about impact. And so it's really easy to say, oh, the students are engaged. But when you ask students, you know, are you engaged? Do you find this challenging? Do you find this meaningful? Do you find this authentic? Um, we know that very few students will say yes. And so I think that it starts with kids, is asking students about their level of engagement, their level of interest, their level of connection. You know, do they feel nurtured by the class? Do they feel that they're capable of doing things beyond their wildest imagination? And when we have areas that suggest that some students do not agree with those statements, I think that we set goals around those areas. And we do that by you know, um, you know, being resourceful and connecting with our colleagues, but most importantly, asking students and saying, okay, so what type of things could I try? You know, do you have some ideas? Or I'm gonna try a couple of new things and then I wanna hear how they're going. And I think that it, it, it starts with, again, the, the people who we serve and that's kids. As far as where the district begins, I think it's also a very similar question about reach out to all stakeholders and find out is the system serving all stakeholders? Do parents and the community feel as though they have really authentic opportunities to be involved? Um, I would also look at student feedback about their level of engagement and do they feel as though that they are, are challenged with meaningful work? Um, I would talk to teachers about, do they feel supported with really high quality professional learning? Um, but also one of the most important indicators um, that you can begin to look at is how many students are included in grade level inclusive heterogeneous classes. And to say that your vision is an all means all, and to say that you are focused on preparing all students for college and careers, and when you're excluding students based on many cases, their identity, I think that that's a place to have a really difficult conversation and try to figure out why is this exclusioning, you know, why is this happening?